Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long dinner need version of Blast Furnace and LFR. For phase one, you want half your raid to go left and half your raid to go right. The order that you kill the ads should be the bellows operator, the engineer, and then the security guard. The foreman can just be cleaved down with the ads. The foreman does pyroclasm, which should be interrupted. He also puts rupture on a person, which leaves a lava pool underneath that person after about five seconds. Make sure if you get this, you're taking it to the wall and not leaving it in the raid. The bellows operator increases the amount of damage the furnace does, and the furnace does a raid wide AoE. The furnace engineer sometimes repairs the heat regulators, so make sure to interrupt him. He also throws bombs on people and drops a bomb when he dies. If you pick up a bomb or have a bomb on you, you have to run to the heat regulator and then use that bomb on that regulator. The goal of phase one is to kill both sides regulators. The security guards just put these purple circles around them. It does damage to you if you stand in it, but it also makes any ads inside of it take much less damage. When phase two starts, you'll have four primal elementalists around the center of the room. All four of these need to die to start phase three. All you should be doing is killing these elementalists and cleaving down any ads. There's also a fire caller ad that spawns in this phase. He does a cauterizing ability that should be interrupted or else it'll heal his target. Make sure if you get volatile fire on you, you get at least 8 yards away from everybody else, because after 10 seconds this ability will damage anyone around you. Once you kill all 4 primal elementalists in phase 2, phase 3 will start and the boss will become active. When the boss becomes active, he is your main priority and you just want to cleave down any remaining ads that you have. In this phase, the boss will put melt underneath a raid member. This spawns another lava pool underneath that person. It does damage to you if you stand in it, and it also increases in size the longer you stand in it, so get out of it as quickly as possible. The tanks in this phase are going to get 2 debuffs on them. Heat is a stacking dot that applies tempered for each stack of heat. Tempered is a stacking debuff that increases the amount of damage you take from heat. Tempered stacks will never go above what heat stacks you have. So if you only ever go to three heat stacks, tempered will always be at three. Tanks just want to make sure to taunt at two or three stacks of heat. Defensive cooldowns should be used as needed. Offensive cooldowns can be used anytime throughout the fight, but make sure you have them up for phase three. That was a too long dinner read version of Blast Furnace on LFR. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.